happy morning children in previous class we discussed about uh, rational numbers represent on number line and uh, between any two rational number we can find the number of rational numbers now we discuss about exercise 1.3 so first bit express each and every decimal number can be expressed p by q form here first problem 0.57 can be written as p by q form so after the decimal we have to two raise so this is written as 57 by 100 next second problem 0.176 after the decimal we have to three digits are there so 176 divided by 1000 next to here after the point we have to five digits are there so here one tens hundreds thousand ten thousand lakh one lakh one divided by after the point we have to five digits are there so one two three four five this is the p by q form of the given decimal forms okay this is the first bit next next second bit first problem 0 0.9 bar change into the p by q form here like x equals to 0 0.9 bar 9 bar can be written as 9 9 9 up to so on this is equation number 1 ok here periodicity is 1 under the bar we have to only one digit so here periodicity is 1 so multiplying on both side by 10 multiply multiplying on both side with 10 10 into x 10x 0 0.999 so on multiplying with 10 9.99 this is equation number 2 from 192 from equation 192 192 2 so first 10x equal to 9.99 by 0x equals to 0 0.999 so 0 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 0 9 equals to 10 minus 10x minus x equals to 9x so this is written as equals to 9 so x equal to written as 9.0 by 9 9.0 nothing but 9 so x equal to 1 ok hmm. Therefore, 0 0.9 bar equal to 1. Now, next problem 12.28 bar. Change into the rationalize. So, 12 let x equal to 12.28 bar. So x equal to 12.28 bar. 
88 so on this is equation number 1 here under the bar we have to only one digit so periodicity is 1 here periodicity is 1 so equation number 1 multiply multiplied on both side with the with 10 ok so 10 into x 10x 10 into 12.288 122.88 so on this is equation number 2 from equation 2 and 1 10x equals to 122.88 x equals to 12.288 ok so equation number 1 subtracting from equation number 2 8 minus 8 is 0 8 minus 8 is 0 8 minus 2 6 here 2 minus 2 0 Next to 2 minus 1, 1, here 1, ok. So, next to 110.60, 10x minus x equals to 9x. So, 9x equals to 110.60, ok. So, 9x equals to 110.60. Here, x equal to 110.6 by 9. So, each numerator and denominator multiplying with 10. So, 110.6 into 10 by 9 into 10. So, 10 into 110.6 can be written as 1106 by 90. So, this is x value. So, numerator and denominator common fraction is 2. 2 5 are 2 5 are 2 3 are. Okay, next 4, 2 4 are 2 5 are. So, x equal to 553 by 45. Okay, this is the Rational relation form of the given decimal form 553 by 45. Next third problem if x equals to 5 by 2, y equals to minus 3 by 4, find the x plus y divided by x minus y. First of all, we can find the x plus y value. X plus y. So here x value is 5 by 2 plus y value minus 3 by 4 so LCM is 4 here 2 2 is 4 2 5 is 10 plus into minus minus here LCM and denominator we have to same number so we can take as it is 3 so 10 minus 3 equals to 7 by 4 next x minus y value 5 by 2 minus of y value minus 3 by 4 5 by 2 we can write as it is minus into minus plus 3 by 4 so here also lcm 4 2 2 is 4 2 5 is 10 next here lcm and denominator same we can take as it is so 13 by 4 so finally x plus y divided by x minus y equal to first of all x plus y x plus y value 
सेवन बाई फोर और डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स माइनस वाई वैल्यू थर्टीन बाई फोर सो दिस इज रिटर्न एज सेवन बाई फोर थर्टीन बाई फोर रेस्पोकल इक्वल टू फोर बाई थर्टीन फोर फोर गेट कैंसिल सेवन बाई थर्टीन सो एक्स प्लस वाई डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू सेवन बाई थर्टीन ओके फोर्थ वन डिवाइड द सम ऑफ माइनस थर्टीन बाय फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व बाय सेवन बाय द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ माइनस थर्टीन बाय सेवन एंड माइनस वन बाय टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कैन टेक सम ऑफ माइनस थर्टीन बाय सेवन एंड ट्वेल्व बाय सेवन दैट इक्व टू माइनस थर्टीन बाय सेवन प्लस ट्वेल्व बाय सॉरी थर्टीन बाय फाइव ट्वेल्व बाय सेवन Here LC means thirty five seven into thirteen minus ninety one plus five into twelve sixty sixty minus ninety one minus thirty one by thirty five. This is equation number one. Next to the product of the product of minus thirteen by seven. And minus one by two, so minus thirteen by seven into minus one by two, minus into minus plus thirteen into one thirteen, two into seven fourteen. This is equation number two. Okay, the sum of given two rational numbers equals to minus thirty one by thirty five. Next to two rational numbers, the product of next to two rational numbers is thirteen by Fourteen. So both divide the both two rational numbers. So one is divided by two. So minus thirty one by thirty five divided by thirteen by fourteen. Minus thirty one by thirty five into reciprocal fourteen by thirty. Seven two seven fives. Thirteen in thirty one into two minus sixty two. Thirteen fives are sixty five. So the result value is minus sixty two by sixty five. Okay. Okay. Next sixth problem. Two pieces of lens, two hole three by four five meters, and second piece three hole three by ten are cut off from the rope. Length of the rope is 11 meters. Find the remaining of the rope. So first of all, total length of the rope 11 meters. The two pieces of the length is 2 hole 3 by 5 and 3 hole 3 by 10. We can find the remaining part. So the total length of the rope minus remaining two. Parts, okay. That is called remaining part. So the length of the length of the remaining rope equals to remaining rope equal to total length of the rope is eleven. Minus remaining two parts. First part is two hole three by five plus second part is three hole three by ten. Okay, so here total length is eleven. So eleven minus three two is a five. Five plus three five th two is a ten. Ten plus three thirteen. Thirteen by five. Plus ten three is a thirty plus three thirty three thirty three by ten. So here L C M is ten five two is a ten ten into thirteen twenty six plus thirty five. Okay, eleven minus thirty five minus thirty five plus twenty six sixty one by ten. 
Next, uh, here LCM 10. 10 into 11, 110 minus 61. That equal to 110 minus 61. Here 9, 4. So, 49 by 10 meters. The length of the remaining rope is 49 by 10. Okay. So, here 30, 33. Here also 33. 26 plus 33. 59. So, 110 minus 59. That equal to 110 minus 59. 1 next 10 minus 5 61 61 by 61 by 10 meters ok right here LCM 10 10 into 11 110 minus 59 so 110 minus 59 here 110 minus 59 10 minus 9 1 10 minus 5, 5. So, here totally remaining part is 51 by 10 meters. Okay. Next to 7th problem. The cost of 7 volt 2 by 3 meters of cloth is rupees 12 volt 3 by 4. And we can find the cost of per meter. Okay. So, first of all, the cost of Cost of 7 volt 2 by 3. 7 volt 2 by 3 can be written as 3 7 is 21 plus 2. 23 by 3 meters of cloth is 2 volt 3 by 4. That equals to 4 into 12. 48 that will equal to rupees 51 by 4. Okay. The cost of 23 by 3 meters cloth is rupees 51 by 4. The cost of, therefore, the cost of 1 meter cloth, 1 meter cloth equal to 51 by 4 divided by 23 by 3. You can get the cloth of 1 meter value. So, 51 by 4 into reciprocal 3 by 23. Okay? 51 into 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 fives are 15. Next in the denominator. 4 3s are 12, 4 2s are 8 plus 1, 9, 153 by 2 rupees. That equals to nearly 1 point something is there. Okay. This is the value or cost of the 1 meter cloth. Okay. Right. Now, next to length problem. When the repeating decimal 0.3636 so on is a written in simplest fractional form p by q find the p plus q okay so first of all we can find the p by q form so 0. Point, let x equal to 0. 0.3636 so on here periodicity is Periodicity is 2. 3, 6 is a repeated decimals, digits. So, periodicity is 2. So, this is equation number 1. Equation number 1 multiply multiplied by 100 okay so
So, 100 into x, 100x, next to 0 0.3636 into 100, 36.3636, this is equation number 2. So, from equation 2 minus 1, 100 x minus equals to 36.3636 so on so first equation x equal to 0 0.3636 so 100 x minus x 99 x here 6 minus 6 0 3 minus 3 0 6 minus 6 0 3 minus 3 0 point 6 minus 0 6 3 minus 0 3 99x equal to 36 so here x equal to 36 by 99 9 table 9 fours 9 elevens here x equal to 4 by 11 so p by q p by q equal to 4 by 11 so here P equal to 4 and Q equal to 11. We can find the P plus Q value. P plus Q. 4 plus 11 equal to 15. So, finally, therefore, P plus Q equal to 15. Okay? Com okay, children. Completed this chapter. Thank you.